What's up, YouTube family? This is Elder Stacey Zanders coming to you with another video. Today, I'm just going to be simply talking about S period O period S, stash of scriptures. Typically, use that symbol if you are stranded somewhere. It's an emergency call, but there's also an emergency call in the spirit. There are times when you are going through some things that will bring you to the point where it feel like that you are defeated, you are destroyed, you want to quit, you want to give up. But that's the time when you need a stash of scriptures in your stockpile, in your heart, in your mind that you have committed to memory that can help you out of a jam. I have a stash of scriptures and also some songs that I go to when I really need God the most. Sometimes you don't always feel like God is there. Sometimes you don't always feel like marching on or pressing through the next day. Sometimes life can become so difficult and traumatic that you just want to quit or give up, but you know that you can't. Whatever the reason is, you know that you got to keep pressing forward and moving on. And it's, it's, it's comforting to know when you, when, when, when you get to a place where you are, uh, where it feel like, um, your hopeless or there's no help coming or your back is up against a wall or you don't know whether it's day or night and sometimes situations will put you in the bed baby i mean depression is real i mean sometimes the struggle is real and you need to know how to get out of a jam when you need to get out of a jam I'm not saying that your issues or problems going to go away but when you know that you have god on your side that he's going to come meet you right where you are, you need to be able to hide yourself. The Bible tells us to hide ourselves in the secret place of the Most High and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Or maybe you are dis your spirit and soul is down, you're depressed, and you have to say what David said, oh soul, while is thou disquieted in me, hope in God and he shall save thee. Or maybe you have a lack of understanding and you need to remember or remind yourself, the Bible says um, that we, <clears throat> that he will be a lamp to our feet and a light to our pathway when you don't know what direction to go in. And uh, maybe, maybe a time in your life may come where you feel a little suicidal and uh, you feel like all hope is lost. What else is there to live for? But I tell you that Apostle Paul said that I will not have you ignorant, brethren, um, of the troubles that we suffered in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure above strength in so much that we despaired even of life. In other words, Paul said the difficulties and the struggles that we was experiencing were so tough that the only way that I saw out of this situation was simply to die. But he said he had to remember that he had a sentence of death working in him to a far more exceeding eternal weight of glory. And there are some times where, we, um, where the enemy we are uh, when the enemy comes in to attack us in various ways, and you have to rely upon the word of God to handle these situations. When the enemy came to Jesus in Matthew, Jesus three times, it is written, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Again, he says, it is written that thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Again, he said, it is written. It is written. That's what we have to remember, that it is written. Maybe a time in your life may come where um, um, you just want to walk out of the church, out of the kingdom of God. I'm telling you, the Bible says, he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, that God will be your refuge and your strength and a very present help in trouble, that he'll be there in the fourth, fifth, sixth trouble, that he'll turn your midnight into day, and that weeping will endure sometimes for a night, but joy is going to come in the morning. The Bible tells us to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding, and that all our ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. We have to learn how to present our bodies at times a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God, which is our reasonable service. We have to learn how to mortify our members, which are upon the earth. We have to walk in the spirit so we don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. We have to add to our, 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 our salvation, virtue, power, strength, temperance. All of these things we have to add to our faith. We have to remember that in the time of 
of trouble that God is always going to be there. He said, Lord, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world or the age or the times of which to come. You have to understand that God tells you that um, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path. We have to buy into this. We have to believe this. It has to become our daily bread. He told Ezekiel to eat the whole scroll. He told jo jo um, Joshua to meditate in this word both day and night. And then you can pick up Psalms chapter number one where he says he... Blesses the man that um, <clears throat> blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standing in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate both day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, which shall bring forth his fruit in his season. His leaves shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. If you want prosperity of the kingdom of God. You need to do something. Listen, I don't care what it is in the kingdom of God. If you want God to prosper you, if you want God to bless you, faith without works, baby, is dead. Faith cannot function on its own. You can't just say, I believe in God. I'm believing God. I'm hoping God. I'm trusting God. For example, you can't say, I'm believing God for a million dollars. What vision, what goals, what plans, what do you have in place to accomplish that goal? Because God is not just going to do it for you like that. That old saying, God helps those who help themselves. You can't say, Lord, I'm trusting God to... Now, there, unless you have a physical element that you have absolutely nothing to do with, there's a lot of our physical elements that we do have something to do with. Listen, you need to eat better. Oh, I'm trusting God to get to, to, to get rid of this, to, to heal me, to deliver me. Sometimes a lot of our sicknesses come from what we're eating. We have to change our diet. I don't know if you've seen the Netflix program, um, um, knives, I mean, forks over knives or what the health. You know, when they talk about a lot of this comes down to what we eat. You can solve a lot of your problems. That's the wisdom I'm giving you today. Change your diet. That's what we need to do. Lose weight, change our diet, go to a more plant-based, healthier lifestyle. I'm not telling you not to not to eat meat because I still eat meat, but it has to be done in moderation. Leave that soda, leave that candy, leave that sugar, all that stuff alone. Oh, Lord have mercy. Y'all don't want to get me to talk in here today. But but God will do it for you. When that scripture says, I would, that you would prosper and be in health, even as your soul prosper. And he was talking about financial prosperity. He said, I would that you would prosper in your health like you are prospering spiritually. But in today's time, a lot of us can prosper in our health if we just simply change our diets. Listen, there are, we have to find our place in the kingdom of God. And the main place we have to be in is in that ethos or that secure place of hiding. You have to hide yourself in the word, in the word of God. How can a young man cleanse his ways? By taking heed according to the word of God. Um, God will be your refuge and your strength and the very present help in the time of trouble. But we have to put ourselves in a position. I tell people all the time, you have to position yourself to be blessed. You have to put yourself in the right places. You have to conduct yourself the right way. You have to have the right mentality and mindset. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. You have to walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you were called. You have to be the diadem, that pearl of great price. You have to be and do what you must do in order to become what you want to become. I say that all the time. Nothing, God will not hinder or stop you from doing, um, capturing anything excellent in this life. You just have to do it the appropriate way. Listen, this is Elder Stacey Sanders. Everybody, we all need to find an SOS, a stash of scriptures that we can hide ourselves in. Listen, hit that like button. That helps the algorithms. Um, hit the notification bell to get all the latest updates when I release new content. And subscribe to the channel. Don't want to forget that. Listen, if nobody told you that they love you today, listen, Elder Stacey Sanders loves you with the most agape love as agape love can get. You take care of yourself. You be blessed. You keep striving for excellence, going for greatness. And until and, and, and the next video. As always, God bless you.